In today's video, we're going to be comparing Presso Pre-Shave to the Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. A, we'll be removing all of the uh, lather with a shavette. If you like the sounds of that, stay tuned and let's get shaving. Greetings friends and welcome to the demo me, JMac, the Red Island Shaver, coming at you with another video. And this one was uh, suggested on my A&E video, uh, where I was talking about the cube and the pre-shaves and uh, Ronnie Yates, uh, Trevor Pearson, Sean Arter, I think Patrick Roblowski, Rebro and a few other people uh, kind of mentioned their experiences, and Bilu mentioned their experiences with pre-shaves, and Ronnie specifically mentioned, um, and I think if I read your comment right, Ronnie mentioned trying half the face with the cube, and half the shave, half the face with a Paraso pre-shave, seeing that there's a difference between the two. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to shave with Paraso Red and a shavette, which, as you guys know, or most of you guys know, I love me some Paraso. I really do. I, I do like Paraso. I don't, however, love it for a shavette or a straight razor shave. This is all comes down to personal preference. I find for me, Paraso is just a bit drying on the face. And uh, I want like a super slick, super hydrated uh, lather, usually an artisan, super fatted soap when I'm using a shave or a straight. However, there is a caveat. I have done like a hot towel shave, the full treatment hot towel, uh, and a liberal application of this, and it performed uh, great. So, so Parasol by itself for a straight razor shave it? No. Parasso. With a pre-shave? Yes. So today I'm going to find out which pre-shave I like more. Now this stuff, which is pretty pricey and it's a cream, or the cube, which is relatively not really pricey. And I mean, it's a full pound of pre-shave soap, which I already like pre I like soap better anyway. So, enough yakking. Let's just wet the face. Wet the cube. And get in here and uh, start this process. So I have this set for a premiere uh, to come out on on Wednesday. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday. I have an appointment uh, Wednesday uh, at the kidney clinic at the time of this airing. So yeah. All right. So we will I'm gonna rub. I'm going to rub this in because we have to make it fair on both sides and I have to rub the other pre-shave in anyway. So there, we'll rub that in. I'm going to rinse off the hand, get all evidence of the cube off of the fingers. And now we'll go with the Parasso. As you can see, I've been, I've been using that pretty well. It almost seems like it evaporates in this container though. It always seems like there's less in here than there than there was when I started. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, of course, there's less than there was when I used it the last time because I used some. Duh! It just seems like more is missing. So, I'll rub some of this in and try and kind of have the same amount of product on both sides of the face. I mean, I'm legally blind. I can't really fucking tell. You guys will have to let me know what it looks like at home. I think, I think that is pretty, pretty similar. And we'll get under here. All right, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. And you know, this may not be definitive of anything. It may just prove the point that a pre-shave works. Uh, like I said in the other, other video on Wednesday, I'm not a fan of pre-shave oils. I've tried them. I don't like them. They gunk up my face. I just, they're not my jam. They're not for me. So, I have the lather already made. I did a bowl lather this time for fairness because I wanted to take the uh, the scrubbing variable out of this because really, I'm, I'm really just testing the pre-shave so I don't want to agitate it into the face and scrub it. So, using Perezzo Red, got a uh, freaking mountain of mountain of lather made here so we will apply that to the face try not to get it in my eye because really that's not helpful 
and I'm just gonna paint this on. I'm actually not going to, I'm not gonna scrub the whiskers. I only have a day's worth of growth. I'm not really worried about getting huge scrub into the whiskers. And rubbing that pre-shave in is gonna help them stand up anyway. And it looks like I've got a good level of hydration into this lather. I will, I will say this scuttle, I love this PAA scuttle, but it is hard to make a big lather in it. And there's just, there's just no room for it. It goes everywhere. If this scuttle was like deeper and had a wider circumference, uh, it would be perfect. All right, so click on my extra light. Got the Focus Slim Aluminium today. I think I have a half, what the hell do I have in here? I have nothing in here. I forgot to put a blade in here. All right, well, that dog don't haunt. So, go with plan B. Make sure there's a blade in this. There's a blade in this. I'll go with the Feather Camisori, um with a uh, Feather Professional on its 26th use, or 27th. 26th or 27th use. This blade's got some miles on it, so. Yeah. Very nice. Nice glide on this side so far, the, the cube side. far so good definitely boosting the slickness of that Paraso soap just a wee bit which is what we are after and a little bit of alum on the fingers here get them locked onto the uh, scales here Now the Parasso side. Right off the bat, I'm not really noticing not really noticing a huge difference in performance from either pre-shave. Both are performing well. I will say though that having the pre-shave uh, on both sides definitely does help this Parasso lather. Just gives it a little little something underneath the surface of the lather to help that razor glide. I did not do a rinse. I'm trying I'm trying to keep as much of that pre-shave on the face as possible. I may have to do a rinse after this pass though. We'll see. So once again, the feather side across the grain. So far so good. Got the little alum block down here, right down beside my lather bowl. I can dip the thumb, the fingers. Shave is going quite well. I think that is the key to some of these soaps, like Parasso, if you, uh... If you find it a bit on the drying side... Bust out your pre-shaves. It's 
Blade is still doing quite well too, actually. I'm quite, quite surprised. I'm gonna try and get 30 shaves out of this blade, come hell or high water. I will, I will suffer 30. The funny thing is, it's not even really tugging yet, it's just, you can tell it's just lost a step or two as far as sharpness. It's still smooth, it's not tugging. So now we will apply a good coat of uh, mist on top of that. Yeah, there's still some residual slickness on both sides of the face from that pre-shave, so that's good. As so we go in for the third pass with the shavette. All in all, I'm not really noticing much of a difference between the two sides uh, as far as pre-shave performance, be it the cube or the uh, Presso cream. This one may, may tell the difference though. We'll see. Get some more alum on the thumb. Just letting that razor ride the contours of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to feel for residual slickness. There is still perceptible slickness on the PAA side after all those passes. So now we'll try the Presso side. We're going to feel around here. Interesting. It's just, just by the tiniest of margins, I think I have to give the PAA cube side the tiniest, tiniest edge as far as residual thickness goes. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to do my cleanup pass, and we'll be back with the uh, final thoughts in a minute. And we are back, had our cleanup pass, our cold water rinse, and had a very interesting revelation. So, I did my cold water rinse, I'm feeling my face, lots of residual slickness left on the face, on one side, and that is the PAA cube side. There is some residual slickness over on the Parasso cream side. But I definitely, definitely have more residual slickness worked into the face over here on the Presso side, which means when it comes down to the pre-shave, which one will would I give the nod to? The Cube 2.0. That's where I would give my nod. Um, that being said, with both products, I still got a great shave, uh, a very enjoyable shave at shave using Presso, which. Like I said, usually I would not use a shave at with. 
uh, DE all day long, not a problem. But with shave at shave, um, with the application of the cube, yes, sir, all day, every day. And uh, so, yeah, re reinforces the, uh, the whole premise of the cube as we go with the matching red splash, one of the best sandalwood scents in the game. Just a hint of a burn, not too bad. All in all, that was a great shave. Went for eh, pretty much a BBS, DFS in a couple spots. Didn't really push it today, but that was very nice. So, would I recommend the Cube? Absolutely, I would recommend the Cube. Um, been using it for about a week now, week and a half. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Like I said, even just a little bit of extra pampering, just to work into those whiskers. It works for me. I do quite enjoy it. Uh, I think everybody should have one in the den, even if you're using the super fatted soaps, the high-end artisanal gear. Work some of that cube into your uh, into your beard and have a fantastic shave. That's going to do it for me, folks. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're liking the content, please hit that subscribe button. We are approaching a very large milestone, and I have a very, very large prize as part of the giveaway. I'm going to be announcing that soon in the next couple weeks, but uh, you guys don't want to miss that. And you're going to have to be a subscriber to win it, so please hit that subscription button. Click the like button, click the notification bell, leave a comment in the comments down below, and let's grow this amazing wet shaving community. So that'll do it for me. Until the next time, be safe, be kind to one another, have a great day, need a better shave. We'll catch the next one. Peace.